I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, morning we're high school. Cool. I'm Alakash Sharma. And I'm Mia Kaufman. Here are your announcements for Thursday, November 2nd, brought to you by We're Student Media. Happy National Cookie Monster Day. Today's forecast calls for a high of 47 and a low of 26 with sun. For lunch, we're having spaghetti with meatballs, romaine salad, apple slices, and milk. First up, Rear Student Media worked with Hancock County Attendance Director, Ruth Ann Douglas, to present a PSA about the importance of attending school. September has made Attendance Awareness Month by the state to bring out the importance of attendance and spread encouragement to attend school every day. Your daily attendance indicates what type of work habits you will apply in college or in your future job. If all students miss nine or less days a year, their personal attendance rate would be 95%. We're High is currently averaging about 30 absences per day. Block schedule doubles the amount of time spent in a class as opposed to a regular nine period day. So a student who misses school for four days has ultimately missed eight days worth of material. A student who misses 10 days of school is 25% less likely to enroll in college. Poor attendance beginning in kindergarten results in greater high school dropout rates. Overall, Weir High holds a 96.3% attendance rate which we must work to upkeep. The county theme for attendance this year is nine or less equals success. Nine or less equals success. Attendance counts at Hancock County Schools. Next, CFWV's College Application and Exploration Week continues. We're student media staffer Gigi Palladino spoke to We're alumni about their college experiences. Hi everyone, my name is Riley Baker and I am currently at Waynesburg University in Waynesburg, PA and I am double majoring in secondary education and English literature. My favorite thing about college would definitely be the track team. It's been such a warm and welcoming atmosphere and it's something that I've just been so grateful to be a part of. My least favorite thing about college would definitely be um, homesickness, I would have to say. I mean, you hear about it, but experiencing it is just such a different thing. Um, however, I would say as time has gone on, it's definitely gotten a lot better. A uh, piece of advice that I would give to all of you graduating seniors is just enjoy every single moment. You don't realize how fast senior year goes until, I mean, you're at college. So just make the most of everything. Hey everyone, it's Sebastian Spencer. Uh, I go to the University of North Carolina, go Tar Heels. I'm studying in political science with a minor in American studies. Um, one of the biggest changes that I went through personally was just growing up and becoming more mature. Um, I gained a lot of new responsibilities. You know, I didn't have, I don't have my parents asking me, did you get your homework done or feeding me, asking me what I'm going to eat. So those are things I have to take into doing myself, making sure I'm eating and staying on top of things. So I just really had to gain a new level of maturity. Um, my favorite thing about college is the connections I've made. Um, I've met friends from all over the country that I'll be able to cherish and be able to reach out to at any point for the rest of my life. Um, the least favorite is probably studying for finals. Um, it gets a little stressful and um, probably ADMs. They don't sound that bad, but when you're in college, ADMs, you're probably going to have to take some freshman year, but after that, I wouldn't take any more ADMs. Um, <clears throat> advice I have for you seniors, um, right now, just enjoy your time in high school. You know, everybody always says, I can't wait for college, can't wait for college. It goes by just as fast as high school did. So really just enjoy this last um, coming semester and have fun with it. Um, something that helped me get through college was just being disciplined. 
um, getting a calendar, getting familiar with your syllabus. In um, high school, I know you mostly just listened to the teacher go through the syllabus, um, had your parents sign it and turn it in, but in college, um, your syllabus is really important, so really get familiar with it. Um, I would recommend getting yourself a calendar so you can mark down your assignments because your syllabus will have everything on there and you can really learn a level of discipline so that you're staying on top and um, keeping your grades up but um yeah that's all I have for you. Uh Hi I'm Elena Mashantoni. I graduated from where last May and now I study biochemistry and pre-medical sciences at West Virginia University. The biggest adjustment for me when I first got to college was probably not seeing my family every day. But uh, my favorite thing about college is the classes, because obviously they're tailored to your major and what you're interested in, which makes them easier. The extracurriculars, because there's like 400 clubs at WVU, and it's really nice to have a group of people who have similar career goals or interests as you in mind. There's also a lot of volunteering opportunities. And probably the independence, because you really do have to be self-sufficient in college. There's nobody to tell you, Hey, you gotta get your homework done. Hey, you gotta go to class. Hey, you have to eat a vegetable once in a while. And I really think that the independence helps you grow a lot as a person. Um, my least favorite thing about college though, because I do go to WVU, is probably that you have to walk up or down a mountain to get anywhere. And you do get used to it after a few days, but it still sucks at first. Um, my biggest advice for the seniors graduating this year is when you're getting ready to take that next step and apply to colleges or trade schools or get a job, make sure whatever it is you're doing, you're 100% passionate about because as long as you're passionate about what you're doing, you'll never have to work a day in your life. I think the thing that helps me the most when I get stressed out is probably my mom and my grandma and my aunt. They will FaceTime me if I'm super stressed about an exam. They kind of talk me off the ledge. And one of the things they do a lot actually is send me flowers, which would make anybody feel special. But it's just really nice to know that I have a group of people rooting for me and rooting for my success, even if I don't necessarily feel super successful. And I think that that support system is really important whenever you're adjusting to being in college, whether you go to college an hour and a half away like I do, or you go across the country or even to another country, it's really important that you have a support system and it keeps you motivated and it kind of keeps you sane. But that's pretty much all. Good luck seniors and enjoy the rest of your year. Thank you to everyone who participated today. The remaining college and career activities for the week include... Today, complete a college survey which will be emailed later by Charlton. Friday, participate in a college activity during your lunch. Students can visit cfwv.com to find resources to help them plan for their future. In other news, the band invites any students who have played a concert band instrument and did not take part in the marching band to perform with them this semester for their winter concert on December 15th. Rehearsals are from 2.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the band room. Contact Mr. Torres for more information. Now, for your sports info. We apologize for a mix-up with our wrestling announcement this week. Wrestling Flex Days will take place next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, November 7th, 8th, and 9th. Anyone who would like to attend the Cheer Regionals at Wheeling Park on Saturday at 10 a.m. can scan the QR code to purchase tickets. Good luck to the girls' soccer team as they continue to compete in the state tournament. Finally, your fun fact of the day. There are fewer stars than there are trees on Earth. That's all for today. Have, Have a, a thrilling, thrilling Thursday, Thursday we're... we're